Hi, I'm Drew Hudson, the field director at the Symington campaign. With uh, less than 14 days to go until the election, we wanted to take a couple minutes to share some inside information with you about how the election is going so far, and also our plans to win this election in the next couple of days. Our plan basically has three parts. Find thousands of new voters who are excited about Barack Obama and turn them out to vote for Gay Symington. Sway thousands of voters to support Gay who've supported Democrats like Pat Leahy and Peter Welch, but haven't voted for Democrats for governor in the past. And finally, go to the polls with the biggest Democratic vote in Vermont history by calling and door knocking thousands of voters in the last couple days before the election. So, how are we doing on our plan so far? I'm glad you asked. A recent poll by WCAX of a little over 400 Vermonters showed that more than half of voters are ready to replace Jim Douglas. That's good news for us. Gay Simington polled at about 33% and Anthony Polina distant third at about 7% in that poll. Those numbers show it's possible for us to win the election, and they also match up with our own internal surveys. Over the summer, volunteers with the Symington campaign and the Vermont Democratic Party called over 14,000 voters who've supported Democrats like Welch and Leahy, but often have voted for Jim Douglas. Calling these ticket-splitting voters, we found the same 33% locked up for Symington already, and the same about 7% for Polina. We also found that almost half of all the voters we talked to were undecided on who to vote for for governor. For us to win the election, we need to convince about 50% of those undecided voters to support Gay Symington. Remember that, and we'll come back to how to get it done in just a second. Before we talk about undecided voters, though, we need to talk about new voters. Barack Obama has been exciting unprecedented numbers of new voters to come out across the country, and Vermont is no exception. Nobody really knows exactly how many of these new voters will come out to vote this year, but one way to make a guess is to look at the results from the recent primary. In 2004, the last presidential election year, about 112,000 Vermonters voted in the primary. That was a big turnout because Howard Dean was on the ballot, and lots of Vermonters were frustrated with the Iraq War and George Bush's reckless policies. But that turnout was nothing compared to the more than 196,000 Vermonters who voted last February. That record-setting turnout includes the votes of tens of thousands of young Vermonters who had never voted before but showed up to support Barack Obama in the primary. That huge turnout of young voters is why the first part of our three-step plan is to connect with young people on campus, on Facebook, anywhere we can, really. The second part of our plan is to win over 50% of those undecided voters we mentioned before. Folks who support Barack Obama for president and Peter Welch for Congress, but haven't decided who to support for governor yet. And this is where we need your help. Starting next week, we're launching a major campaign to call and visit the homes of tens of thousands of Vermonters who supported Democrats in the primary, but haven't decided on the governor's race yet. I'm asking you to commit 20 hours to this campaign over the next few weeks. You can volunteer for a phone bank or a precinct walk, or you can take a few days off before the election. We need your help to get this done, and we can't do it without you. In the last few weeks, we've landed major endorsements from groups like Planned Parenthood, the Human Rights Campaign, and Democracy for America, whose members are helping to run this program with us. The momentum is swinging our way, and if we can translate that new attention into action in these last few critical days, we can break through with young and undecided voters and win the election. Some of you have been working on the campaign for months. Some of you are just tuning into local politics or just deciding to support Gay Symington. I'm Drew Hudson from all of us here at the Symington Crew. Thank you for what you've been doing. Now let's go get our state back in gear.